Cousin and Cousin Company. Today we are going to be talking about good games and bad games. So first we're going to start off with the bad games. To start, Dolly, Dolly would explore. Like, I tried to, it was like awesome at first, and then it's like, it like freezes and you flip off and you're like, lamb, and you die. So like, it's dumb. Next up is Crazy Goat Free. It is like, it was awesome at first, like the cover, but then you play it and it freezes all the time. And then like the goat, you don't even know what to do with the goat. Now what virtual family is like. So like you get on and then like, a day after, if you leave it for one night, they all die. And then, there's nothing to do, I guess. And then the next day, they die again. Um, they just keep on dying. So, virtual family's life is not a good game. Finally, the last one is Dress Me. It's like... So... I don't get it because there's boys' clothes and you're dressing a girl and then there's girls' clothes and then I've never figured out how you can put the clothes on. So, I, yeah. Is that good? Okay, now these are the good games. So first I have Crossy Road. It's like a really good game. It, um, the makers made Minecraft PE and Minecraft, if you know those, and like, it's really good. You try and get like your animal or your person across the road. It's just a cool game. Cool. Next up is the Akinator. He's like a genie. He's kind of creepy because like, you think of a character and he like guesses it right. But... One not positive thing is that if it's really difficult, you have to get the deluxe version or whatever they call it. But it's a good game because he's awesome. Now we have Geometry Dash. Light. Well, I've only played light. Anyways, so like the music is awesome, but if you're playing it at night and you don't want your parents to know, then don't turn the volume up. And, like, you have a little square thing that tries to jump over stuff. You can make it, like, all the way up to 19 and stuff. So, Geometry Dash Light is a good game. Okay, now this is, like, one of my favorite games, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 demo. And 3 demo, because I only have those ones, not the ones you have to pay for. Um, now, when I'm making this video, the third one is new, and it's creepy. And I have probably broke the case of the back of the phone off, like, I don't know how many times. But anyway, so if you're, like, like scary things, it's a good game if you don't, don't play it ever. So what you do on Five Nights, what you do at Five Nights at Freddy's is you have to, like, there's animatronics that come alive. And guys, don't listen to the guy that calls, like, he's dumb. He doesn't even, like, know what's, he's like, I want you to forget all the stuff that you heard about the old Freddy's. How about you work there at night shift? It's scary. So, like, you have to um, hide from these animatronics and keep the music box wound so the puppet doesn't come. And the puppet tries to let, um, um, there's a bunch of them, but the basic ones are Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy. So, it's scary. It's a good game. Okay, now, finally, we have FIFA 14. Like, um, so it's a soccer game, if you don't know. And you get to, like, pick your jerseys and your team and your logo. <laughs> and you have to, um... Shoot goals and yeah, it's just a soccer game, so it's a good game. Okay, so 
to my email, which are good and bad games to get. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and add any comments or any ideas for Cousin and Cousin Company. Thanks.